video is for those that have back pain. I hear it a lot. You know, everybody suffers from back pain in one time or, or another in their life, but there are things you can do to help to relieve that pain along with what your doctor has you do. If you have any serious injuries or any like discs that are messed up, make sure that you um, talk to your doctor before you do any of these stretches and make sure it's okay to do them. Um, if you just have you know some, some pain back there or you're lifting something and you notice that, oh, now my back hurts, these are great stretches to use. I'm also going to, at the end, show you a ab exercise that is perfect for strengthening the core because the core is what keeps your back healthy. So you've got to keep your abs tight and toned. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lay down onto our back. And I want you to take one knee in at a time, always do one at a time. Cross up the ankles, just shake it out. Just hold those knees, you're rubbing that low back onto the ground. Okay, you're gonna take your left leg, lay it down, bring the you're going to grab it with the opposite hand. Opposite arm goes out. You're going to bring it across the body. Look the opposite direction. Your shoulders are going to stay down. You can keep the knee bent if you want. You can straighten the leg if you do, if it's a little bit deeper stretch. Just don't force this. If it doesn't feel good, then don't do it. You're going to come back. Bring it back out. Put that hand underneath that knee. Opposite arm goes out. And you're just going to bring it out. To the, to the same side of that body, just relaxing it, make sure you breathe, keeping both hips down, don't roll around like crazy because that's just going to make things worse. Back to the middle, switch sides, you hold it for about 30 to 60 seconds, grab it with the opposite arm, opposite arm looks, uh, goes out, you look over that shoulder. Back to the middle and out to the side. Then back to the middle. Okay, I want you to take your left foot down. Right ankle is on the left knee, flexing out of the heel. Push up into bridge. And you're just going to hold. Your stomach is always held in. Always hold that belly button to spine. Relax the upper body. You're going to go down, grab that inner thigh. Bring it into you and hold. Release, switch legs. You're gonna push up into bridge. Back down, grab that inner thigh. You can always put a towel underneath that leg and pull it in. So you just pull it in, relax the body. Don't force this, but this is the very best one that you can do for low back pain, sciatic pain. If you have that, you definitely want to do this one. You can do um, each of these moves, hold for 30 to 60 seconds. You can do them up to three times a day. Okay, we're going to go ahead and roll over onto all fours. You're going to take your hands, fingertips are spread underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hip bone, feet are flat, you're going to take a deep breath in, blow it out, drop the head, and push that back up towards the ceiling. Deep breath, blow it out, look up and drop that back. Your tailbone goes up towards the ceiling. Come back to all fours. I want you to go back into shell stretch, so your knees go out, hands are flat, forearms are flat, and the forehead goes to the floor. Please excuse my dogs, they are on their way in here to check on me. Thanks for checking on me, guys. I'm good. Okay, then we come up. Okay, go on. Go lay down. Okay, now that is the stretches that are the very best for you. Those will help that low back. You can do, like I said, you can do them up to three times a day. Take as long as you need. Make sure you breathe and relax during them. That will help a ton. Now for the ab exercise that is best for you. You're going to lay down onto the back. Your feet are flat. 
Your head is relaxed in your hands. Elbows are out wide. That low back is down on the floor. You can do these in your bed if you want. Same thing with the stretches. You can do them in your bed as well. If you're having that bad of a day, you're going to take a deep breath, blow it out, come up. Chin is off the chest. Your chin is off the chest. You're looking up at the ceiling. Back down. You breathe out. Breathe in when you go down. Okay, that is the best exercise to strengthen the core, but yet protect your back. No twisting. There's no, um, you know, sit-ups or, or any of that. You don't have to do full sit-ups to be able to get a good tight tone core. So that will keep your back from hurting and it will protect for any more um, injury that you might have. So if you have any questions, you let me know and I will definitely like to help you. Stay tuned because there will be some more videos. I'm actually going to be doing the um, some for hip pain, shoulder pain, knee pain. So stay tuned. Have a great day.